The, today we're unboxing a dash cam. This particular model is by Vetomile. So it's a full HD 1080p dash cam and it has a, a wide angle on there. So let's see what you get in the packaging with this and check the sizing and things. Okay, so first of all, the camera. What I can tell. Oh wow. Absolutely tiny. I didn't expect it to be that small. I thought it was expecting it to be slightly bigger than that. But there, there you go. It's got a screen on there. You've got some buttons there as well. Looks like power, um, previous, next, and not sure what that is, memory or something. And then you've got mode and something else there. You've got a power point there, looks like mini USB, you got a sticky pad, which is good. So you can stick it just where the, um, your, your mirror goes, your rear view mirror, sort of nicely angled on. It's very small, to be honest, very surprised by that. Let's see what else you get in the packaging. Okay, so, um, looks like instructions and some extra bits, so, we've got another sticky pad so i guess this probably ah okay feels like it unhooks ah there you go unhooks i guess you can share it between two separate cars if you wanted to nice idea i would have actually preferred one which actually uh, had some sort of suction pad but i guess this is maybe better only because it's more of a permanent fixture and less liable to sort of drop off so yeah good Let's see what this is okay so this is um the charging adapter for the car two points in there so that's useful and it's good that obviously you've got two connectors there. So normally I use my phone as my GPS uh, navigator and it'd be good I can charge that at the same time as having that. So perfect. A short cable. I guess this must be, this must be the transfer cable. So you've got two separate points on there. So there's one there and there's one on top. That's a bit strange. I'll have to have a read of the instructions just to get a bit more clarity on how it is. And a long, I guess this must be the charging cable, obviously, it's quite long. Okay, so looking at it, as it's in place there, this is the charging cable. Uh, positioning wise, I think it will work quite well. On the front window of the car, obviously that will be quite close to the top. This can just nicely hide at the top, so good on the front mirror. So this particular camera, obviously there's only one with this, there's no rear one with this. Um, you've got some additional clips as well. I guess this must be to hold the cable in place. So, yeah. So you get three of those clips. So I guess you could put maybe a couple at the top and then one along the side going. So I'll have to have a initial play around with this. Okay. And then you've got instructions as well. So we'll have a flick through these and then we'll have a look at how this performs. So instructions are in English, which is good. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got in total at the moment. Obviously one of these is on the actual camera itself. Then you've got your three separate clips you got a short cable, not sure what that is. You've got a long check cable for charging and you've got the actual camera itself. Okay, I've actually hit the on button. But yeah, we'll have a test in a second. Okay, so I've had a flick through the instructions for the dash cam. We've got the dash cam here. So let's try a few things out and see if I can show you what's actually 
possible with this device. So, first of all, it doesn't come with a micro SD card. Bit of a shame really, it'd be nice to have got one. So I've got one here, which I'm gonna insert in there. So this is a 16 gig scan disc ultra. So just goes this way in. And as you push in, you'll hear it click. I can somehow, there you go, that's gone in. So that's the first thing. Next thing is, obviously I did show there was two cables that came with this device. So let's try the longer one out. So obviously that's gonna be the charging one to keep this device going when it's in the car. So plug it in. And there you go, charging indicator. So all good. Now, let me unplug that. And you'll see the battery indicator appear there. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try the shorter cable out that came with it. So I was curious what that was. So if I take it and the slot's just there for it at the side, we'll, it's turned on. And there you go, quite interesting. So it's actually got an option for mass storage or PC camera. So once you connect it to a, a laptop or a PC, so once you connect it to a PC, what you'll notice is it'll ask to install the drivers and you can actually configure it to see the storage that's on there, which is great. The other thing is you can use it uh, like a webcam. So quite interesting. Not sure why they've got that option there, but obviously could be useful to someone. So that's that. I won't show that particular option. Uh, obviously the other way of doing it is just taking the card out and then slotting it straight into your PC to be able to see it from there. So, okay, that sort of clarifies what the two cables are for. Okay, so Let's begin by plugging in the charging cable. So as you see, as soon as you plug in, it just kicks in straight away and starts recording. So as I showed before, two buttons there, the one on this side, if you click that, that will stop the recording. You've got a power button there and you've got navigation buttons either side here and in the middle it's an option to let you go into the menus. So, if I click it initially, let's step through the menus. So, resolution, you can reduce the resolution or put it back up to 1080p. Loop recording, so this ensures if your SD card fills up, it will just overwrite the older files that are there. HDR, this sort of allows it to automatically adjust the picture quality according to the conditions at the time. Exposure, that you can sort of increase or decrease um, levels of brightness, so improving the picture quality. Motion detection, so obviously this will allow it to kick in only when there's motion detection. Audio record. So by default, the audio is recorded. You can turn that off if you want. So nothing's recorded, what you say. Date stamp. So this is to show the date stamp on the recording. Obviously it's best to have this showing as evidence in case anything happens. Gravity sensing, this is more of a setting if there's an accident or something, so it sort of kicks in. And plate number, so I'm assuming this must relate to your own plate number on your vehicle. Okay, let's go to the next one, so date and time. Very important, you wanna set this, obviously if there is something that happens, you have the correct date and time showing. Okay, auto power off. 
self-explanatory beep sound this is the sound you get when you're pressing the button so you can turn that off language TV mode frequency format the SD card in there I'll click that that was quick screensaver okay kicks in after 30 seconds delayed shutdown okay default setting return menu settings to default useful if you've played about with it and version version of the device okay so that's all the menu options now the other thing on the camera you've got this mode option here so you can change the mode so obviously at the moment it's ready to record so if I click it again it will go into camera mode so I can take a shot with the actual camera on there and then if I click it again it will go into like a preview option so you can preview the actual footage on the camera Yeah, so you can go to slideshow, click what's on there, so that's that. Okay, back to record mode. So there's all the functions. Now let's give it a bit of a road test and see what the picture quality is like. Okay, I fitted the camera within the car, just a temporary fitting, just before I tidy up all the cables. So it's in the charger with the 12 volt adapter it comes with and there it is so let me put it into record mode and let's go for a drive and test the quality out and let's go for a drive and test the quality out Okay, so the microphone's actually on, on the camera. So it should give you a good indication of the quality that can be achieved from the sound of its surroundings. Obviously, as I've shown before, there is an option to turn the sound off.
Okay, so first impressions of the camera, very impressed. Uh, picture quality is amazing as you've just seen and I guess only time will tell how good it is but from my initial impressions very impressed and highly recommend so there you go hope it's helped anyone thinking of buying this camera details of this particular one are in the description field below and thanks for viewing